Okay, Chad, thanks. A small law firm in Logansport has filed suit against major chemical manufacturer DuPont over claims that a weed-killing chemical manufactured by the company is killing more than just unwanted grass. That's going to be a very big project because basically we have to cut all these down and remove them. Coyote Crossing Golf Course in Tippecanoe County has a daunting task ahead. The course will have to replace at least 99 trees that have been slowly dying. General Manager Shane Wiest says a herbicide is doing more than removing unwanted weeds. We started seeing effects about a month and a half ago. Um, it was around 15 to 30 days after we first applied the product. Um, we started to see the outside of the needles on the trees turning brown. Trees at the course are now dead. Others are slowly dying. And the product in question, Imprellus. It's a herbicide many people across the country claim is killing thousands of trees. It's now the subject of a lawsuit. The law firm Star Austin and Miller in Logansport was contacted by two golf courses in Indianapolis who initially reported problems. And this week, the firm filed a class action lawsuit in federal court in Delaware where DuPont's headquarters are located. The further we investigated, we realized the problem wasn't just isolated to the Indiana market, but it was a nationwide problem. And it's not just golf courses that are affected. Landscape companies, even homeowners who use the product, could also be affected. The problem is affecting a variety of, uh, of individual property owners. Basically, anybody that's had Imprella sprayed on their property may have damage. In a statement, DuPont says its turf development team has been investigating the reports and is still trying to determine if the symptoms are even related to the Imprella's herbicide. They've not accepted responsibility at all. The law firm is encouraging property owners who think they may be affected to send them soil and foliage samples. We've linked information on how to do that on our website, WLFI.com. And Miller says no court date has been set yet. He says DuPont might request an extension of time to answer the complaint that was also filed with the lawsuit. As for Coyote Crossing, Weist says a DuPont field representative is expected to come out and survey their damage.